Hi, I'm Jim Anderson, Social Flow CEO, and I'm here today on Facebook Live to talk to you about adapting to Facebook's branded content policy. So if you're not familiar with the branded content policy, the best thing I can tell you is just to go Google it. It will be the first search up. It's not a particularly long policy, but it's pretty important for you to understand if you're a media company and you're working with advertisers under the policy. And it's going to become even more important because effective September 1, e.g. about now, that's tomorrow as I film this, and maybe it's already today or yesterday by the time you see this, Facebook is going to be uh, enforcing, we understand, a little bit more aggressively than they have been the branded content policy. So it's important for you, if you work with advertisers, if you tag posts on Facebook, to be able to sort of relate that and, and make sure you're complying with that uh, by September 1st. The other thing that's important to know is that this only works with verified pages on Facebook, and that's those that have this blue check mark. So right here, this is the social flow page, blue check mark. There's also a gray check mark. I won't try to explain today why that's different, but if you've got a page that has the blue check mark, then you can actually do this with the Facebook branded content policy and you can be compliant with the policy. So the other good news is that in the next day or two, we're actually going to actually have uh, the social flow product enable this to be able to tag using our product itself. And so I'll just show you real quickly here. This is our composed window. There'll be a little icon that'll appear little handshake icon here. That's the same icon that Facebook uses to be able to actually tag that. And then once you click on that icon, you'll be able to go in and select the advertiser that you're going to tag and, and go through the workflow and then actually have that appear so that when the post comes out, this is uh, health.com post tagged with Lexus. That's how it actually shows up. So when we talk about the brand and content policy, that's what we're talking about. You've got a property tagged with an advertiser and that's essentially how it ends up looking on the post that shows up in the consumer's news feed. So this whole branded content policy is intended to just illustrate that you've got a property that is putting a post out in conjunction with an advertiser. And then the final thing you need to be aware of, and it's actually quite important here, is that the tagged advertiser can actually then see the metric. So we had health.com with Lexus. So in this particular case, Lexus would be able to go in and see the metrics, see how much of the reach and the engagement came from organic posts, how much of it came from paid amplification, and obviously that has some impl implications to the, your relationship with your advertiser. But the key here to remember is you need to start complying with this policy if you haven't already. We've built the features and functionality of the Social Flow product that we'll be rolling out in the next day or two. So if you're a Social Flow customer, you'll be able to do this right from within the product you're already using. And uh, uh, you sort of get, get going on, uh, on making sure you're actually compliant with this policy moving forward. So again, Jim Anderson from Social Flow, uh, thank you for watching Social Flow Live on Facebook. Thanks.